Hi, I'm Jason. I wanted to make a quick video about fear and addiction. And the reason this topic came to my mind is that at a recent recovery meeting, we were discussing this verse by Jesus where he says, in order to become great in my kingdom, you must become like this little child. And typically in these meetings, we, you know, we look at, well, what does that mean for recovery? In what ways when I was in addiction, was I trying to be a, a, a big grown-up adult? And in what ways will I have to become like a little child in recovery? And we get a lot of insights out of that. But somebody said something last week at a meeting that took me by surprise a little bit. He said, you know, children are afraid. They, they want to sleep with a special blanket or a special animal. They want the nightlight on. They hold hands with their parents when they cross the street. And sometimes they won't do something simply because I might get in trouble. In other words, they're, they're afraid. They're afraid. And as I thought about that, I thought, certainly, you know, when I began using alcohol, it was a lot about trying to overcome that fear and convince myself that I was a big grown-up who could handle these adult beverages like an adult. And there was a, a significant amount of kind of, you know, hiding it and scheming to be able to, to do this without my parents noticing and so on and so forth. And, and in some ways, it's kind of like when a group of kids goes into an abandoned building and maybe some of the kids are afraid and someone says, what are you, a baby? What are you, a chicken? There's a certain aspect uh, to addiction that involves this kind of like bravado about using substances. In, in fact, there's a guy recently returned to a rehab where I work who was um, sucked into a month-long blackout drinking spell basically because his friends and cousins were sitting around calling him yeller, you know? What, you don't know how to do this stuff? Yeah, we know how to do it. You don't know how to do it. Oh, uh, he said, well, I'll show you I know how. And boom, gone for a month and he came back to treatment looking very sick but it was they were trying to say that he was chicken he was a little kid you're fearful not like us big grown-ups we're not fearful so i don't know if that's the case for everybody or maybe you think that's not a very sophisticated way of looking at it but i have a video here of my friend darren he was a pharmacist who was addicted to alcohol in order to keep drinking alcohol, he started using the prescription drugs that were available to him at work while well, he stole them to be able to continue to function at work, even though he was either hung over and withdrawal from drinking the night before. And he says something that's not that dissimilar from this idea that, that in addiction, we're not being afraid like little children. Let me play a little clip of him talking talk to um my alma mater to the university of wisconsin madison to the the school of pharmacy students one thing that i really learned through my entire addictive behaviors and recovery to this point is the fact that you learn about all of these things and you know all about all these things and they're and every single day you're immersed in these medications. And those of us who have addictive problems lost any kind of respect we had for substances. We lost all respect for it. What is that? And I think that's, um, that's an interesting thing as well. I think children naturally have a respect for the adults in their lives and the end for institutions that are telling them not to do something. And it's similar to this idea of fear, maybe not exactly fear, but respect and fear. There's certainly some, some overlap between those two things. So I ask him what he means and let's, let's have him explain that a little bit more about the respect for the medicine that mean medications there's a reason that a medication is prescription it's 
because it's dangerous. If it's not used properly, it's dangerous. Hmm. Control substances are incredibly dangerous because not only do they have physical addictive properties, they also have more importantly, psychological addictive properties, depending upon what controlled level they are scheduled five, four, three, two, um, or medications that you can't even get, which are schedule ones. As you move up that scale, the physical addiction is there, but more importantly, the psychological addiction is there. And that's where you lose the respect. You understand that the psychological is way, way more difficult to deal with than the physical. But if you become addicted to those things, as a pharmacist, understanding that a lot of it has to do with the fact that you've lost that understanding, you've lost that respect for what those medications can do because you think you know better. <laughs> I mean, that sounds a little bit like fear, you know, fear and respect some of these drugs. And, you know, I think even back to my days in high school, there was this magazine that was given out freely at our high school that described the risks and the health consequences of using substances. And it also provided sort of like stories of people who'd become addicted. And in my experience, the people who had no interest in doing drugs, they never looked at this magazine. Me and my friends, we read the, we read this art. We were looking for information in it. We were looking for information to be able to control our drug use and know how far to take it. We, we thought we could control it. So short video here. I'm curious to hear from people. Do you think lack of fear had something to do with developing an addiction? And, and if so, how do you get that fear back? How, how do you get, once you've lost your fear, of a substance, how do you ever relearn to have fear of it again? <laughs>